Hey everyone, it's Mary Ann of Akashic Inspirations, and I've kind of decided to do a special reading this evening, and it's uh, this is going to be a reading for Thursday, October 23rd, and it's in um, honor of Diwali, which is a Hindu festival um, that is celebrated not only in India, but around the world. Um, and it's called the Festival of Lights. So I decided to do the reading here out in the porch in the evening with my beautiful lights lit up. I've got uh, my statue of Ganesh and my card of Lakshmi because this festival incorpor incorporates um, prosperity, abundance, good health. Like, you know, just really, uh, when I found out about it a couple of years ago, I just really loved the idea behind the festival. One, because they use beautiful lanterns and candles and incense um, to celebrate with their friends and family. And, you know, since it is a festival of lights, it is, I, I think the, the, the reason behind the festival is so beautiful. It is about honoring illumination, honoring self illumination. And I think it's absolutely perfect that it does occur on the 23rd because that is also, as we know, um, it's going to be the day of the partial uh, solar eclipse in Scorpio as well as the new moon. Um, Scorpio deals with uh, secrets or hidden knowledge, um, deep Akashics. Um, it deals in uh, very uh, those things that we have hidden way deep down inside of ourselves so that it's paired up with the Vowali, which is the festival of lights and um, you know honoring unity oneness illumination self uh, empowerment um, it is it is perfect that we go within and see our own light and have our own illumination um, bring forth um, messages and information uh, for our lives. So I decided to use, uh, these cards are really big, so I went ahead and pulled them beforehand, but it's from the Syrian Starseeds Tarot by uh, Patricia Corey. And so we'll go to uh, the first card that I pulled, and it's the Ace of Chalices, so Ace of Cups. So... Um, here in this in this picture it's actually a hands there's hands here if you could tell and it's the lady of the lake of Avalon bringing forth the the Holy Grail bringing forth the chalice and um, since uh, just uh, you know a few days ago um, uh, or yesterday, uh, Matsu Emoto uh, passed away. Doctor Emoto passed away, and he was the one that, you know, urged us to bless water and urged us to under the in the understanding that we are water. Our bodies are water. The earth is water. So it's about um, giving thanks and gratitude for the life that we have. And that was his motto, which I thought was so beautiful. And it's beautiful that this whole card is like an homage to this beautiful colors that we see in the oceans of the blues. And it emits within us. Um, um, our emotions are, are uh, you know, just seeing the sparkling diamond, uh, the little sparkling diamonds that are coming out of the cup. This joy, this abundance, this love, um, the how our emotions are completely transformed with this Ace of Cups coming into our life. How love transforms our life in all ways, in all manner of, uh, whether it be uh, love of... of, of, of love of a partner, love of a husband, wife, so on, love of children, love of life. And what I'm getting is love of life, that passion for living, 
that gratitude that we are here, that we have the opportunity to make this life that which we desire it to be. And we have it within our power. We have it in our hands. We have the Holy Grail within us that leads us to living our lives in love. And when we do that, when we work in that vibration, when we work in that energy, it's what opens everything for us, opens all the doors, um, opens our life to joy and fulfillment. So the second card that came out for us today is the card of abundance. So it's, it's absolutely perfect. Not only do we have abundance of our emotions, but here we see the high priestess in total divine connection um, with, you see here, the, the uh, pyramid shape, the triangle, um, the trinity, and her, her, her robes are water. She's standing in water, and she has the universe. All the stars in the universe are above her. She has that connection of bringing the as above to the so below. And how does she do that? Through her emotions, through her connection, through her inner light. That is the connection that we have with Gaia, with the earth, with the mother, with the water of life, as well as the universe, the cosmos, the, the infinity of, of, of prosperity, abundance of source. We have that connection that is within us. So as we contemplate on Diwali and illumination and the festival of lights, allow that illumination to come down to you so that you can bring forth your prosperity and abundance and bring it from a sense of joy, bring it from the depths of your emotions and feelings so that you understand that you are co-creators with this divine by allowing it to flow through you. And the last card that we pull is the Ten of Crystals. So this is beautiful because here you see her, she's got, oh my gosh, she's got riches. We have a beautiful peacock, which are those blue-green colors, those royal colors. We have a line of these beautiful quartz uh, crystal generators, which are working with us. We're working with crystals. Today's an awesome day to work with crystals, to work with your quartz. Here I have a beautiful uh, pink Tibetan quartz points. It's actually a triple point. To me, it represents um, the pink flame of unconditional love. That's what it represents to me. That's what it looks like to me. And so as she's here with all of her abundance around her, and we have, um, here we have what I would call like the Alpha and the Omega, because we have the Alpha and the beginning of the Ace of Cups, and we have the Omega and what is the Ten of Crystals. So we are totally grounded in Mother Earth and reaping her abundance, her abundance of the crystals coming from the Earth is her gift to us. It's her gifts of love, of security, of support, of life, of um, a sense of complete connection and unity through our abundance, through the source of the universe and bringing it completely down into the earth to create our abundance, to allow us. I mean, here she's, she's dressed in her beautiful robe. She has these gorgeous flowers in her hair and she's, she's just looking at, uh, it seems like a pause in a moment of looking at everything that is around her, looking at everything that she has been given as gifts of the mother and taking that moment of silent, silent reflection of being grateful and in gratitude for everything that she has been given and everything that is surrounding her. So, um, as, as, as we, um, as we go into this time now, 
uh, as we approach here in the Northern Hemisphere in the United States, we'll be approaching in November our Thanksgiving and approaching the holidays. So it's actually a great time now to set the intentions, to set your energies so that those times, that time of family and friendship and goodwill and love for humankind is at a peak that we that we set our intentions, we set the tone for that unconditional and absolute love to be able to flow down through you and work through you in service of not only your community but of humankind by raising your vibration so you raise the world. So I wish you a wonderful um, time in if you choose to look up into uh, the festivals of Diwali and maybe do, you know, your own version and do my own version of it and lighting candles and lighting incense. So hope you um, take the, the spirit of that holiday and incorporate the spirit of the unity and the illumination um, into your life. And I wish you many, many, many blessings. Namaste.